Hey, good evening. Uh, this is my evening shave. I'm going to visit the Amici once again. That's some pretty nice stuff, man. Tonight's uh, shaverage is going to be the Guinness Extra Stout. <clears throat> I pull out of my razor archives the 15 sixteenths. Guess what? Philharmonica. Doble Tempere. Now, one thing interesting, I, this is freshly honed, freshly strapped. I just dropped this in the barber side. And I'm starting to see this also has, see the black marks on the edges? The spine. I think, because I didn't leave it in there for a full 10 minutes, I think that it might be too strong. So I'm going, to, I'm going to have to visit that. So give me a second to strop this off. I didn't even strop it yet. Yeah, I think all I did was uh, just dump a little more in that barbicide in there. Boy, I had a weird day yesterday, man. I was like tripping me out. I kind of just got into a weird old mood yesterday. I uh, <clears throat> twisted my damn ankle at work, and I jacked up my top and the bottom of my foot. is all sore, and I'm, you know, when you're driving, you're always using that your feet <clears throat> it was my right foot my driving foot that I hurt so uh, the uh, I filed the workman's comp on it and uh, it took us like hours just literally hours and, and even even so during the day after I got all the paperwork and I got three phone calls just ridiculous uh, anyway so I go to uh, this urgent care and there's these three chicks in there. And I'm in pain. I'm like, I'm not in a good mood. And uh, I go in. And this chick, she just like busts them out, you know. It's like you're looking down at her. And all these girls are around. you like really uncomfortable, you know. So when they took me back to see the doctor, there was another girl there. Was busting out and pregnant, and by this time I'm getting into a much better mood, you know. Uh, so, um, she's taking my blood pressure and all this stuff, right? And uh, I'm joking around with her a little bit, and she needed to do a P test to see if I was uh, to check me for any drugs, right? So she's pulls out this thing, she's doing all this stuff, she goes. I grabbed that right there. It was a cup with some plastic stuff in there, plastic tubes and crap. And she goes, go ahead and open it up. And before she asked, like, what's your name? What's your date of birth? All this stuff, right? So um, I peeled the top off this thing. She goes, okay, now throw it away. And I threw it away. Threw the whole thing away. And I knew that's not what she meant. She wanted me, she wanted me to throw all the stuff in it. But she didn't say it that way, see. So I threw it away. And I cracked her up, man. So, so anyway. Uh, I go into this room, and this doctor comes in, and she had she. Goes, this is my scribe, so Oriental guy with a, with a uh, laptop, you know. So I'm telling her that my right leg is larger in circumference than my left leg. And she wanted to measure. She goes, well, I'm going to need you to slip into a gown. And I go, I'm sorry, man. I do not wear dresses like that to her. And I was like, I was just stone cold serious. She looked at me, and then she just started laughing. She goes, well, you can just take down your pants if you're wearing, you know, not tidy whities you know, so I, I did, I was wearing boxers, and uh, my right leg was uh, one centimeter, almost, almost a full inch bigger in diameter than my other one. And I just kept joking around, you know, so um, it was time to leave. Uh, when she was all done, she says, it was a real pleasure having you here, you're a good man, all this stuff, right? Ooh, I missed that. So, uh, She was leaving, and her scribe 
was uh, following after. And I go, hey, where do you think you're going? <laughs> like that. It was just so funny. I was in a weird mood. Uh, so I had to go. I had to go to the uh, emergency room, St. Anthony's. So I did, and uh, it was uh, it was very busy. And this guy came in, he had a big old red bump on his arm. It's like, yes, I swear, it was like an inch and a half tall. And uh, told him, this razor is fantastic. So I told him it looked like a bot fly. Larvae, and I asked him if he's been out of the country. He said no. So he said he got a piece of OSB in his arm. I'm thinking, what are you waiting for to get that nasty for before you do anything about it, right? So um, and then comes his girlfriend, some pock-faced uh, redhead, uh, the big button shorts, and uh, and I'm sitting across the room, um, charging my phone, and this Asian kid, he's probably 19 or 20 comes in and he uh okay I'm bored now I sat there for like two and a half hours right I'm bored I'm looking at this kid he's on his phone he's like a look a happy little guy you know so he's sitting probably ten feet away from these people with the funky redhead and uh he's, he's sitting next to a box of tissues so I kinda of walk over a cell and I Pull one out and lean over, and I go, "What you in for, kid?" Like that to him. He goes, "Oh, whoa, 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 whoa!" He says, "I was, I forgot the carbo load before I worked out. Now I feel like crap. I want them to look at me." I go, "Say that's, that's like tell him, man, go have a steak and a beer and a potato and call it a night, man." So anyway, okay. So there's one small detail I left out that was just funnier than shit. Okay, so I was talking to this Asian guy. And that chubby redhead with the pockmarked face <laughs> was right there. And uh, I'm talking so I'm talking to this cat. And uh, and the, the triage nurse called him back, right? And they both stood up. And they both started walking. And she dropped something. And she bent down. And I'm telling you, she's wearing shorts. These small shorts. She bent down to pick it up. And her butt, I mean, was right there in these shorts. She had a big butt, too. And, uh, the, uh, I mean, that was even raunchy by my standards. So, anyway, so, I looked at the Oriental guy, and his ears are going, and he's like, <laughs> has a look on his face, right? So, <laughs> I'm going, man. I'm going, like, fucking guy, man. And I go, uh, well, that made your night, did it? And he goes, it sure did. I go, you're nothing but a horny bastard. <laughs> He's there laughing. I had a good time, man. I'm telling you, man, if I'm bored. I will entertain myself later. So we just, I just clowned around with him all night. The rest, the rest of the time I was there, he was in a room right across from me. So it was a trip, but I was really in a weird mood. Look at that lather, son of a gun. Talking, talking kind of quiet when my wife's in there sleeping. <laughs> so, don't want to wake her up. Get my ass kicked again. So, it's uh, I like really like I really like this scent. It's really a nice scent.
so my leg and foot and everything hasn't hurt all day. <clears throat> it hurt all the way to my groin. It was just too much. I went and had to go in for an ultrasound. That's why I was at the ER uh, to make sure I didn't have a blood clot in my leg. I got a dental appointment tomorrow, so I'm shaving tonight. And, you know, as a courtesy, you don't wear, you know, cologne and aftershave to a dental appointment because he's right on top of your head. But my leg doesn't hurt anymore. The doctor gave me a uh, one tablet of oxycodone. I didn't take it last night because last night I medicated myself with uh, some bourbon and some beer. So I took it today. So, hey man, this has got to go down as one of the greatest soaps of all time, especially when you consider the cost of it. I mean, this stuff lathers good, everything's good about it, man. I don't like taking uh, pharmaceuticals out. It makes me feel anxious. So, that's how I was feeling all day, but you know what, I didn't even notice my foot or nothing, it was, it was nice, because, you know, just sitting there throttling your foot like this all day, it's just, oh God, it's killing me. Suicide Blonde. Yeah, but today I didn't have to work, so... So the manager told, probably told everyone I'm out because of my foot and stuff like this, so... Next Tuesday I'm going to have a thousand people coming up to me, Hey, are you okay? And all this stuff, so... And which, is, which is cool, you know? All right, so I'm just going to slap on some witch hazel and la da da da, and uh, we've all seen me do that before. So I'll tell you what, 
Y'all take care. And remember, even if you're taking oxycodone, it's still a good day for a straight razor shave, huh? Perfect. No stall. That, that Philly is just the bomb, man. Later.